Learn DaVinci Resolve Basics and edit your first video today. First, download DaVinci Resolve and install. Now create a new project. Open DaVinci Resolve. When the project manager opens, click New Project. Type a name for your project and click Create. OK, now go straight to the edit page. The edit page is your main workspace for editing your videos, images, and audio. First, import your video. Right-click in the media pool, choose Import Media, and select your video file. If DaVinci Resolve asks to change the frame rate, click Change to match your video. To match the resolution, click the small info icon on your video clip in the media pool and check its resolution. Now, open Project Settings and set the same resolution as your video. The video settings are matched now. Remember, for the best results, always match your project's resolution and frame rate to your video. Click Save Now. Next, add your video to the timeline. Just click on the video, drag it down, and drop it in the timeline where you want. By default, the video and audio are linked, so they move together. If you want to edit them separately, right-click the clip and uncheck Link Clips. If you don't need the audio at all, just right-click the audio clip and choose Delete Selected. The Viewers You can preview your edits in the Timeline Viewer. Use the playback buttons to control the video. In the Source Viewer, you can see clips from the media pool. For a simpler layout, switch to Single Viewer Mode to see everything on one screen. To navigate the timeline, use the playhead. It is a vertical red line that shows your current position in the timeline. Drag the playhead with your mouse or click anywhere on the timeline to move it. Use the home key to jump to the beginning and the end key to jump to the end. You can also click and hold on the timeline and drag left or right to move it. Use the minus and plus icons to zoom in and out on the timeline. Click full extent to view the entire timeline. Let's do some basic editing. First hide the media pool. OK. To cut a clip, use the blade and click where you want to split a clip. Or switch to the selection tool, place the playhead at the point and press Ctrl plus B. Delete a clip. Right-click the clip and choose Delete Selected. The clip is removed, but the gap stays. To delete and close the gap automatically, right-click and choose Ripple Delete. Trim a clip, that is adjust its length, hover over the start or end of a clip, then drag to adjust its length. Copy a clip. Hold Alt button, click the clip, and drag it to a new position. Move clips, use the selection tool, click, and drag clips to a different position or track. It's also possible to move multiple clips at the same time. Don't forget to turn the snapping on and make the aligning much easier. To add a transition between clips, open the effects library and go to video transitions. The most common one is the cross dissolve, which smoothly fades one clip into the next. Simply drag it onto the cut between two clips. Select and adjust its duration in the inspector. Now preview the video. To enhance your video, go to the color tab at the bottom. The color tab is very advanced, but will keep things simple for beginners. First, select the clip you want to correct. To select multiple clips, click the first one, then hold shift and click the last, everything in between will be selected. Use color temperature to make your video warmer or cooler. Adjust contrast to make the image clearer, and use gain to brighten the highlights. Increase saturation to make colors look richer. If needed, you can also improve sharpness. Click the blur icon and lower the radius to sharpen your image. And remember, 
small adjustments usually look best. Switch back to the Edit tab. If you want to change the speed of your video, select the clip and use the speed slider in the inspector. Move it to the right to make the video play faster, and move it to the left to make it play slower. Preview your changes. Next, add your image to the timeline. First, import it into the media pool, then drag it onto the timeline. Place the image where you want, and trim it to the desired length. To change its size and position, select the image, open the inspector, and use the position and zoom sliders. You can also add a transition, open the effects library, choose cross dissolve, drag it onto the image, select and adjust duration as needed. Preview your clip now. It's time to add some text. Open the effects library, go to titles, and choose a basic title. Drag it onto the timeline, above your video and image clip. Position it where you want, and trim it to the right length. Then, select the text clip, and go the inspector, to adjust the font, size, and position. If you'd like, you can also add a transition from the effects library and adjust its duration. Finally, preview your video to check the result. Now we can add some audio. Import your audio into the media pool. Place your audio file in the audio track, then position and trim it to fit your video. To fade audio in or out, drag the small handles at the beginning or end of the clip. You can adjust the volume in the inspector under the audio tab. Remember, 0 decibels is the original level, and plus decibels makes it a little louder. And if you need to silence a track while you work, just click the mute button on that track. Now export your video. First, select all clips, and move them to the beginning of the timeline. Go to the Deliver page, type name of your video and find location to save the file. Change the following. Format to MP4. Codec to H.264. And preset to quality. Click Add to Render Queue and press Render All. Wait until the export is finished. Your video is now ready to share. If you want to use a vertical resolution, for example for YouTube Shorts, go to Project Settings and check Use Vertical Resolution, then click Save. Next select each clip in the timeline, and use the inspector to adjust its position and scale, so the video fills the vertical frame correctly. For a full screen look, go to Project Settings, choose Image Scaling, and then select Input Scaling. Change to Scale Full Frame with Crop. Adjust the clip's position in the inspector if needed. Move the horizontal divider between audio and video tracks up or down, 
to move all tracks in the timeline. You can also move the track edges to adjust their height, making it easier to see your clips. To make the viewer bigger, drag the horizontal handle just below the viewer to resize the preview window.